Ladies and gentlemen, you made it to Friday once again, and it is five o'clock on Friday, and here is our Devious Spotlight. So this week, we're having this 87 Defender 90. That's right, a Defender 90. Totally out of our realm of builds. But I'm gonna tell you how we got there. One of my good friends called me one day and said, hey, his brother wants a Defender 90, and this is what he wants. He starts building this little dream in his head and uh, gave it to us, and I said, well, rather than buying a completely driving Defender 90, which are, what, 100 grand or so, uh, let's find somebody that's already started the project and maybe we can get a little bit cheaper. So we went on uh, Craigslist and we searched and searched and searched, and we found this Defender 90 in Arizona. We took a drive out there, looked at it, it had a lot of good stuff to it. So we decided to pick it up, bring it home in a bunch of boxes. And keep in mind, I've never built a Defender 90. My guys have never built a Defender 90. So this one did take us a little bit longer than expected, but let me run down the stuff that it has on it. It's got a full forward link suspension with air ride uh, by Universal Air. Uh, we use Vi Air compressors and AccuAir for the adjustability. Uh, the wheels, we custom cut ourselves. So we uh, basically, they don't make any wheels that are really cool for these things. So we actually built these wheels in house, custom cut them, bolt pattern and all. And then we put uh, General Grabber AT tires on it. Um, this guy is really into guns and that kind of stuff. But we decided, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we did bulletproof paneling on the side? So we actually have eighth inch plate on the side of the vehicle. So it actually will stop maybe a stray bullet not sure about how close, but kind of gave it that industrial army look as well. Uh, he turned out we did a car army green and he says, boom, that's the color I want my Defender. Uh, this thing has a lot of cool custom features on it. On the front fenders, this used to have a, uh, a step here for, you know, when they take these things off road and stuff like that. So what we did is actually cut a step with Treadbright in it and of course we put our logo in it. Uh, the front end, I never really liked any of the headlights on them. So what I did is I went ahead and we rebuilt the whole headlight structure with custom LED headlights. And again, we carried that theme from the, the top to the front. Uh, this has a Overland cage in it, which is an exterior interior roll cage. The coolest part about this truck to me is that it has an LS swap in it. That's right, an LS and Land Rover. These things came with about 115 horsepower from stock. Now we're boosting up about 550, I believe it came off the dyno. Um, we actually put a Magnuson supercharger underneath the hood as well. So this thing shits and gets, man. It's a good run truck, it's fun to drive, um, and it pretty much shits over every Jeep that you've ever seen out there. <laughs> this is where the beast lies. This is a 5.3 LS1 with a Magnuson supercharger on it. This thing is shoehorned in there, but we made everything accessible. We made it easy to check all the fluids, the computer, everything is super simple. So if you're on the trail and something goes wrong, you don't have to take apart the whole truck to get to it. So that was kind of our thought behind of it. It pretty much can go anywhere and everywhere in comfort. So the coolest part about the interior is we want it to look super plush. I mean, this is a Land Rover. We did custom door panels. So in the interior, you can see that it has a lot of nice accessories in it. It's got the bomber style gauges. It has the double din head unit in it. It's got a Moscone piece here that's a digital sound processor, so it makes it sound amazing. It's got two 10-inch subwoofers, uh, boxes built into the back that kind of wraps into the interior and makes it look still industrial, but yet hides them. So like, if you have the top off this, somebody's not gonna come up there and go, oh, hey, you have two 10-inch woofers, they can, can take them. They're all built in, so it all looks super clean and super smooth. Uh, we did a center console with a uh, lock on it with wrapped in leather. Uh, to kind of go with the Land Rover theme, couple cup holders, of course, uh, Bentley carpet. Um, this thing has the best of everything on it. You can't, you can't find a nicer Land Rover out there, I, I dare you, you know? This thing is bad. Uh, when we come to the back of the vehicle, we did these little steps so you can actually climb up on, the, on it or in it. Um, a swinging tailgate rack, which they don't have it for this, so we had to make it and cut it, shorten it down and all that fun stuff. We did. LED tail lights out of a Jeep. We should cut, up, cut them up and then cut the pockets to make them fit. They don't have a lot of aftermarket stuff for these. These are, people that own Land Rovers are like super into stock and like how they are because they work really well. But this is like 
the Arnold Schwarzenegger of, of, of uh, Land Rovers, because this thing rips. I'm gonna show you some video right now of us ripping it down the street. Well, there you have it. Today, we brought you something different. A Land Rover that's blowing four by four on airbags with a sound system and a killer interior. I hope you liked it. Tune in next week because we have something special for Devious Por Vida. That's right, we're putting another big episode of Devious Por Vida together and we can't wait to show you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hopefully tell your friends about us. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good weekend. Stay out of jail. <laughs>